Hey guys, so I finally got my top five snail products ready. I was testing the very last product up until uh, yesterday, so I've finally gotten that together. And uh, I'm going to start with my first product and then tell you a little bit more about the snails. So my first product that I really love, and it's probably one of the first snail products I ever tried, was the Benton uh, High Content Snail Bee Essence. It's super light, although it's packaged super fresh, and the Benton brand doesn't tend to use a lot of preservatives. So if you pick this up, I highly recommend using it as soon as you get it, and don't set it aside for a few months and then decide to use it. They don't tend to use a lot of preservatives, and it's pretty fresh of a product, So, but it's super light, uh, fragrance-free, uh, absorbs really quickly. It's kind of just a clear product and it goes on your skin very nicely. So I really like it. One of my first snail products I ever tried and really liked it. Uh, my second favorite is also um, an essence, and that's the Casa Rex Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And it's interesting if you Google it, if you want to know a little bit about it. Uh, Casa Rex uses the giant African land snail to get their snail mucin. And these are giant snails. They're like the size of rabbits. They're actually kind of cute, but Casarex lets them go in a room that's uh, dark, and then they kind of crawl around on a net for a while, and then they collect the slime. So uh, they're, I've heard they're very nice to the snails, and that they don't injure or damage them or kill them during the process, and it's really not in their interest to, especially since they have to bottle, I don't know how many of these get sold in the, in the world every day, but... Uh, you know, wouldn't be in their interest of hurting them or killing them since they want to keep collecting the slime, I guess I'll call that's what I'll call it. Uh, so they use those. Other uh, companies can use different ones, but uh, they're super cute, but I guess they're illegal in the U.S. because they can lay up to like 1,200 eggs a month. So, uh, and I guess Florida has had a problem with them. So I'm going to Florida soon, so I'll see if I see any running around and I'll take a picture of you of them for you but uh, anyway so they are super cute though but uh, so basically they just collect that uh, purify it you don't want to do it yourself because the uh, mucin itself can contain pathogens and things like that so uh, they're obviously sterilized and uh, you know it's processed and things like that so if you're buying a product like this from one of the companies you don't have to worry about it uh, and most of those farms are outside of the U.S. and other countries. I think there's like three snail farms in the U.S. I've read. And uh, anyway, so not very big in the U.S. I think most of those are for like escargot. So anyway, so the Casa Rex uh, mucin is definitely my second favorite. Uh, it's a little more sticky than the Benton, but it's a little bit more hydrating as well. So on days my skin's a little bit drier, that's when I go to this one. So on days my skin isn't super dry, I go for the other one. Uh, an ampule that I really like is also by uh, Mizen. They're big into the uh, uh, snail stuff. So Mizen, you'll see them on my list again. But uh, this ampule is a nice, kind of like a serum liquidy texture to it. But uh, I like it a little bit if it goes a long way. Uh, and it's fragrance free and super affordable. So that's the nice thing is that it's super affordable. But this is also one of my uh, favorites. Mizen also has several other ampule products packaged like this that I also like. But anyway, so this has got to be my third favorite. Uh, and then my fourth is the Mizen uh, Snail, uh, All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. And uh, this one has a more creamy texture. I tend to use it around my eyes a little bit more. I don't use this every day. I tend to use this more on days my skin is a little bit uh, drier or just around my eye area. And I tend to use this more at night because I, I notice it takes a while to kind of dry down. But super hydrating, also very affordable and fragrance-free and uh, alcohol-free. So also a good option. And then my very last one is totally out of the ballpark. And this is a new one that I've started to try and really started to like it. It's the Mizen uh, Snail Beauty Balm. comes in a few shades. The shades tend to be a little more yellow. So if you're checking out the shades, I recommend... Uh, go a little bit lighter than you think you're going to need. And if you have more of a pink complexion, you might not like it as much, uh, but it is definitely more towards the uh, yellow part of the spectrum. But uh, I would say medium to full coverage. It has a little bit of SPF in it, 32, which I'm a big fan of layering sunscreen if you can. Uh, but it sets to a natural finish. I'm wearing it right now. I used to wear um, the uh, Bare Minerals Bare Pro for almost all the times I would record reviews. And the last couple months I've been going with this and very happy with it. I like that it's got a little bit more SPF in there. 
and a little bit tends to go a very long way and it tends to look pretty natural on my skin tone. What you might have might be a little bit different because my skin tone tends to be a little bit more yellow. But uh, anyway, so really like this. I changed out my uh, original one that I was going to have for number five to this because I really like this one so, so much. So, and the Meisen brand is pretty affordable. I think I got this at Yes Style. I think it was like $9. So, uh, but just do some investigating on the shade before you pick it out because there's not a lot of shades and it depends on where you purchase it too. So, uh, anyway, so definitely do a little bit more research if you're thinking about picking this one up. I think the shade I have, let's see, is as, let's see, number two, Sand Beige. So if I'm a number two, there's only one other lighter shade, which is, keep that in mind anyway. So I'm number two, which normally I'd be like, I don't know, 10 or 13 out of 40. So uh, anyway, so those are my top five snail products. Been working on this one for a little bit of time. So I'm interested if you have a top five or a top one, uh, what is it? Or if you use anything else on this list, uh, what do you use and how do you like it? So uh, leave a comment and check out nobsbeauty.com. Thank you guys so much.